Live from Munich, Germany, IAPA, the International Au Pair Association, invites you to the Au Pair of the Year Award 2021. Now, meet your host, IAPA's Managing Director, Patricia Brunner. Welcome from Munich to the Au Pair of the Year Award Ceremony 2021 which has been kindly sponsored by Sprintex this year. Every year, IAPA calls on its member organizations to ask their host families to nominate their outstanding au pairs to participate in this contest. Our award provides au pairs with the recognition and credit they deserve, and at the same time, enhances public's awareness of this cultural au pair scheme. The au pair program offers the au pairs and host families mutual benefits. Au pairs learn about the culture, language and way of life of their host country. Host families and their children receive flexible help, but also a new perspective and insight into a different culture. The au pair of the year award is a great opportunity to showcase and promote the quality of the au pair programs our IAPA members provide all over the world. Now the pandemic has changed how we celebrate this award. Normally we would announce our winner in, a, in person during our annual conference at Wetum IEC. This year the award ceremony would have been held in Malta. But once again this year we had to be a bit creative and we'll start with a ceremony here in beautiful Munich, home of IAPA headquarters. And then we'll take you around the world and present you with our winner and the runners up. But enough talking. I'm sure you would like to know who the lucky winner is. But let me start with introducing you to our wonderful jury who had the difficult yet at the same time very rewarding task to select our finalists and ultimately the winner. Our jury members this year are Thank you all for your support and helping us to identify the winner of IAPA Au Pair of the Year Award 2021. We will now present you with the four nominees which made it to the final round. Also this year, we received many wonderful entries and on our website, as well as on social media, you can watch the short video with all of the submissions. We will now present you the four nominees who made it to the final round. Finalist number one, Ana Belen. Jimenez Sanchez from Mexico, who is a current au pair in the USA. Placing agency, Go Au Pair USA. Sending agency, International Experience Mexico. Finalist number two, Maureen Jacobs from Germany, who was an au pair in the USA. Placing organization, Inter-Exchange USA. Sending agency, Multikultur. Germany. Finalist number three, Flynn Michael Legg from the USA, who is an au pair in New Zealand, recruiting and placing organization Au Pair Link New Zealand. Finalist number four, Claudia Kosa from Poland, who is an au pair in the USA, placing organization Au Pair in America, Sending Agency, AIFS, Poland. Now, can you guess who won the award? I'll have to ask you to be a bit more patient. As to announce the winner, I will now hand over to London to our chairperson, Linda James. Hello, Linda. Thank you, Patricia, and greetings from the Royal Albert Hall in London. 
I'd like to start by congratulating every single au pair who was nominated for this award. And in particular, the three runners up who incidentally all received the same number of votes from our jury, thus making them joint second place winners. Given the challenges of the last year, I believe everyone will agree that every au pair has been a winner in their own special way. Nevertheless, one candidate particularly stood out for our jury and it is my honour and privilege to announce that winner now. So, the winner of the 2021 International Au Pair Association Au Pair of the Year is... Flynn Michael Legg. Da, da. you guys to put your little handprints on it or something. Oh, yeah cool. and what's this one and this is another exciting award for him a voucher to go towards his travel and his trip oh, that is huge there you go. Thank you. Oh, look, are you ready and we've got one wow, very special <laughs> thing for Flynn and you know what happens in New Zealand I think that, that Flynn may have had something on the other you go? <laughs> You're up. we have <laughs> This lovely little pronami for you. Oh wow, that's beautiful. And if you can see, sorry, I'll show you guys first. This is for you. Wow, that's and that is just to show that everybody is so proud of you and for doing such an amazing job. And hopefully that you'll remember New Zealand and your family and everything that happened while you're here. I don't reckon I could forget. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are welcome. Wow. Congratulations. You can put a big clap. Oh, and, it's say, and say bye! Bye guys! Bye. Thank you! We nominated Flynn as the best au pair because he's um, enthusiastic, charismatic and just downright awesome. He allows me to do my job without having to worry about the kids at all. Um, and I get home and everyone is generally happy. Sometimes there's a few tantrums, but he just stands by and says, hey man, I'll be here for you, I love you. And he just lets those tantrums pass by and gives them a big hug in the end. Um, very enthusiastic about his future. Yeah, we definitely love Flynn. Hi, Marilyn Vansnick here from Scotia Personnel in Canada. I want to congratulate Flynn on the Au Pair of the Year Award. Flynn's earnest, honest and positive description demonstrated how he embraced his role and the local culture. Flynn showed that he had the right instincts, willingness, adaptability, attentiveness and above all a warm heart that made for an ideal au pair in a time when traveling offers its own unique challenges. 
Flynn proved to be a shining star for his host family and a wonderful example of what an au pair should be. Congratulations again, Flynn. Hi Flynn, congratulations on winning the Au Pair of the Year Award. Um, I really warmed to the letter that your host family had provided and your own letter where you were such great support to your host family and that you really took ownership of those children that you cared for um, and clearly learnt um, some great life skills and realising that, you know, patience is key when caring for children um yes yeah, so congratulations and well done um and good luck with the rest of what you're going to do next okay take care i chose flynn as the best au pair as he is a sunny boy he's patient helpful and reliable he not only helped the family a lot he also enjoyed the local life bravo flynn Many, many congratulations to you, Flynn, on winning your award. We're all absolutely delighted for you. And I think we'd all be interested to hear a bit more about your au pair experience. So maybe I can start by asking you, what prompted you to become an au pair? This, this year's been pretty crazy. Um, and uh, so I was, I was working, uh, or I was studying abroad in Auckland and uh, I decided to stay because my mom who is a doctor told me that it'd be a lot better to be in New Zealand for the pandemic so I ended up staying and after my studies were through I didn't want to keep studying and so I knew I needed to get uh, a job to pay the bills and I've always really loved working with kids and I uh, I had worked at a preschool previously and so uh, I thought you know this would be a rewarding way to uh, Get a, get a visa and pay the bills, and here I still am, a year later. Thank you for sharing that with us, Flynn. That's really interesting. Um, I've got another question for you, uh, which is, what would you say has been your biggest learning experience from being an au pair? Uh, I've learned a lot, for sure, so it's hard to pick just one thing, but what I wrote about in my essay was patience. I think I've really learned a lot about having patience and that means a lot of different things, but um, you know, uh, working with a two-year-old and a three-year-old takes a lot of patience. And I think I've become a much more patient man for taking care of them. Thank you, Flynn. Again, it's really interesting to hear your insights there. My last question to you, and I'm sorry to have to talk about the end of your au pair program, but what will you miss most about being an au pair? I miss the kids. I miss Henrietta and Frank. That's that's an easy one. That's gonna be a hard one. <laughs> no, I. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to leave just because I'm gonna miss them a lot, you know. But uh, but I suppose that's that's why I won this award is because they make it easy to uh, work hard for them because I love them, you know. Got to do right by those little kiddos. So I miss the kids most. Flynn, it's been wonderful to meet you and congratulations once again. Without further ado, I am now going to hand back to Patricia in Munich. Thanks a lot, Linda. A truly great guy and a deserving winner of this award. Congratulations to Flynn also from us here in Munich and Kia ora to New Zealand. We have now come to the end of our award ceremony and I hope you enjoyed our little show. Thank you for attending the Yapa Au Pair of the Year Award 2021 ceremony. And we hope to welcome you again in person next year during Wetum ISC for the award 2022. Meanwhile, Ayapa would like to thank every one of you, our members, for the incredible work you do to recruit, screen and support our amazing au pairs around the world.
Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Sprintax here. On behalf of the entire Sprintax team, we would like to say a big congratulations to the Au Pair of the Year winner for 2021. Having managed tax compliance for Au Pairs and their agencies for many years, and across the J community in general, everyone at Sprintax is delighted to be involved in such an incredible event and send our warmest congrats to all involved. Congratulations to the WETM IAC on hosting a great virtual event and we look forward to seeing you all in person next year.